Darren Steen here, your muscle building coach, bringing to you today two of my hottest tips, new exercises that I tweak to get your arms bigger. You guys have been asking for it. I'm real excited because I just finished an arm workout and I put a tape measure on them. That's always fun. And uh, my arms are bigger than they've ever been in my entire life. 19 and 6, 16, just a little bit shy, 19 and a half. And uh, I'm, I'm, I'm doing that with uh, being leaner than I've ever been. So I'm real excited. These two new exercises are partly the reason why my arms are bigger than they've ever been. So I'm going to show them to you and give you guys some tips. You guys been and you gals too. But you guys been asking for this. So here you go. All right. The first one is a standing standing concentration curl. I took a little bit of a technique that Arnold Schwarzenegger used to use, and I put a little bit of a tweak on it. So get a moderate weight. I use 30 here. If you've never done it before, maybe 20 or 25. Okay. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to focus on the left bicep. So put the left foot out front. Put 90% of your weight through the left foot, and you want just a little bit of weight leaning on something. Now here's the key, instead of just bringing it up like this, halfway up, when you get right here, I want you to drive your left elbow down just a little bit towards the floor, and when you do that, when you drive that elbow down just a little bit, you're going to get a rotation of the forearms, it's like a pinky higher than the thumb, you've heard me talk before about scoop the water out of a pail, it's called a supination, so it's a twisting motion during the bicep contraction. So here we go, you want that twisting motion as you drive the elbow down and hold it for two and one. Good. Put your mind in the bicep. Look at it here. Now look. Drive the left elbow down as you twist the pinky up and squeeze. Two and one. Come back up a few more inches in the top position. I'm, once I start about a quarter of the way up, then I can drive that shoulder. Ah, two and one. But I'll do three more. Half, a quarter of the way up, drive the left elbow, down, and supinate that wrist and bring that pinky higher than the thumb. Something really nice to do here is on the last one, when the form starts to break, instead of going for that one extra one, put it down, shake it out a little bit, get a little bit of a feeling back in your hand, about a 10 second break, get back down there and do some forced, uh, forced negative. So I like them forward and ah, helping that form up. And ah, a little self spot. Ah. Ah. Nice and slow and controlled. Remember, that negative, that descent, the uh, eccentric negative phase is always as important, if not more important, than the positive. So always lower the weight nice and slow and safe, especially on the last negative. Make it a five or six second negative. So that's my first new movement that I want you guys to try. It's largely responsible for my arms being bigger than they've ever been. The other one is get a preacher bench. I, you know, I, I know this one's been used before. I saw it in the magazines years ago. I think a guy by the name of Zotman, maybe, uh, maybe this one, Larry Scott. But what it is is it's a one arm you start in the hammer position. Halfway up, you start to supinate and twist and get a nice squeeze right here. Halfway down, come back down into the hammer position. Up, halfway up. Mind muscle connection. Look at the muscle that you're working. The mentality, you're squeezing water out of a sponge. Make a lightweight for the head by going nice and slow, you'll be able to get the mind muscle connection a little bit better. So I'm really fatigued now, I kicked in fast instead of the workout. So a little self spot. Two. One. Halfway down, go back to the hammer. And nice stretch. And relax. So I don't know what to call that one. It's a Zotman curl, Larry Scott curl. I like one arm at a time. So those are two new movements. Now I want to uh, tell you that I'm 29 weeks away from my next show. It's uh, the INBA Universe and uh, Kyoshi Moody's the champ. And I'm real excited to uh, become a pro in this new organization and uh, compete with the best. He won a car last year, so it's real exciting. Um, there's a bunch of guys possibly coming over, Jim Cordova um, and, and a lot of other ones, but I'm real excited. And I just want to let you know that I created a new shirt and a new logo. I, got, I want your guys' opinion on my new shirt. I just made them up. Because I'm a truly hormone-free, lifelong, steroid-free competitive bodybuilder. I'm proud of that. 
And uh, if you guys are interested in uh, maybe figuring out uh, where to get these shirts, I, I will come up and produce them. If you want some, just let me know. Um, but also, I'm going to go to the Arnold Classic, and I'm going to be at a booth with Ronnie Coleman, the eight-time uh, world champion, the longest reign of any Olympian champion. He beat Arnold. Uh, and I'm going to be at a booth with him. And uh, I want you guys' uh, opinion, ask me questions that you want me to ask Ronnie. And I'm going to be walking around with a bunch of fitness people. So if you're there, hit me up. Uh, or at least comment below and let me know some questions that you have. And uh, I just want to hit a couple poses since I'm pretty excited. Since my arms are bigger than they've ever been before. And I'm bringing my right one up. My right one's always been weaker. And as I said in a couple of videos before, symmetry is very important at the professional level. And through deep tissue massage therapy on this right arm by uh, Iron Claws Guido, my personal massage therapist, and stretching the bicep out and in-depth kneading and massage during the workout, I've been able to bring this one up a little bit. Tell me if you can tell if it is considerably less than the other one, which this is my strong one. But they're nine, this left one, my big one's 19 and 6 sixteenths, a little bit shy of 19 and a half. I'll hit you from the rear. Last one. So there you go. Comment below. Let me know what kind of videos you guys watch. Until next time, Darren Steen, your muscle building coach. Make the rest of your life the best of your life. Thank you.